Hi again everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel with another vlog, with another lesson and this is your teacher Aubrey on your screen. of a polygon. So last video, we talked about the polygons. This time, we will be having the exterior and interior angles of polygons. In this lesson, you will need your prior knowledge on how to evaluate variables or your knowledge on algebra. You have to be familiar with your algebraic manipulations for you to be able to understand or to use the following formulas in finding for the interior, exterior, and sum of interior angles of a polygon. Let us now proceed to our lesson. Exterior and interior angles is the main topic of our lesson for today. And this is still the module of the week. And for this module, we have two lessons, polygons and exterior and interior angles of polygons. But we are done with polygons. So let's just proceed to the second topic, which is the exterior and interior angles of polygons. Okay. So when we say interior angles, these are the angles of a polygon which are inside the polygon. Yeah. For example, this one. 30 degrees in here is the interior angle and the other part is exterior angles which is the 150 degrees. Now, interior angle and exterior angle of one side is equal to 180 degrees so they are supplementary angles now on the counterpart an exterior angle of a polygon is an angle formed by a side and an extension of an adjacent side of a polygon so yeah just like what we had kanina 65 yung interior yung exterior is 115 and your interior and exterior angles are supplementary therefore their sum is 180 degrees so there are different theorems in this lesson we have four theorems the first one is the exterior angle theorem when we say exterior angle theorem for any triangle the measure of an exterior angle is equal to the sum of the measures of its two remote interior angles this theorem is only for triangles let us allow that the exterior angle we are finding is letter d and it is said that d is equal to a plus b so when we say remote interior angles these are the angles or the interior angles that are not supplementary with the exterior angle instead it is the adjacent angle of the supplementary angle of the exterior angle basta yan na yon yung a tsaka b basta yung hindi katapat ng exterior angle yan so let's have examples example number one is this figure as we have said kanina that d is equal to a plus b where d is greater than a and greater than b so substituting that we have 35 degrees plus 62 degrees and we have 97 degrees therefore the exterior angle is 97 degrees 97 is greater than 35 and it is also greater than 62 degrees so pasok correct next example is this one using the same formula this equal to 40 plus 27 degrees so we have d equals 67 degrees and this part now is 67 degrees which is greater than 40 degrees and greater than 27 degrees 
as simple as that. Now let's proceed to the second theorem, which is the sum of interior angles, or SIA. We use this formula. The quantity N minus 2 times 180 degrees. Now let's have examples. What is the sum of the interior angles of a decagon? Sum ng lahat ng angles ng decagon. So since decagon has 10 sides, let's have this figure. Angle 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. These 10 angles should have the sum of what? So using the formula, SIA equals the quantity N minus 2 times 180 degrees. Substituting N with 10 because there are 10 sides in a decagon. And using your algebraic manipulations and your PEMDAS or GEMDAS, 10 minus 2 is 8. 8 times 180 is Lahat ng angles dito, ang sum niya dapat is 1,440. Next example, what is the sum of the interior angles of a pentagon? So, pentagon, there are 5 sides. So, as you can see in this figure, there are 5 sides. And using the formula, substitute N with 5. And simplifying that, you have... 540 degrees. So, lahat ng angles ng pentagon, ang sum niya dapat ay 540 degrees. What is the sum of the interior angles of 20 gon? SIA is equal to N minus 2, the quantity, times 180 degrees. So, substituting your N with 20, we have 20 minus 2 is 18 times 180, we have 3,240 degrees. Next, proceed to the next theorem or the third theorem, which is each interior angle of a regular polygon or EIA. So, when we say EIA, we use this formula. Yan. So, as you can see, the numerator is equal to the sum of interior angles and just divide it to the number of sides. So, the quantity N minus 2 times 180 degrees all over N. So, let's have examples. What is the measure of each interior angle of a regular hexagon? So, when we say hexagon, there are six sides and using the formula, substitute N with 6. So, lahat ng N magiging 6 at using your algebraic manipulation, simplifying that, we have EIA is equal to 120 degrees. Take note, we are talking of regular polygons. So, when we say regular polygons, all angles and all sides are equal. So, yan. Dapat lahat ng yan ay 120 degrees. Magkakapareho sila. Lahat ng angles ay 120 degrees. Next example, what is the measure of each interior angle of a regular heptagon? This time, heptagon is having... 7 sides. Take note, regular. So, lahat ng angles magkakapareho ang measurement. Using the same formula and substituting N with 7 and using your algebraic manipulations, you have EIA equals 128.57 degrees. Now, this time we have a decimal. If we are going to encounter decimal parts, just round it off to the nearest hundreds. So our result now is 128.57 degrees. Next example, this time andecagon. And we know that a regular andecagon has 11 sides. So using the same formula and substitution and manipulation, we have 
EIA equals 147.28 degrees. That is the measure of one angle in a regular undecagon. Now let's proceed to the last theorem which is the sum of exterior angles. Now, when we say sum of exterior angles, it is equal to one revolution and one revolution is equal to 360 degrees. So, let's try the following. Find the value of x in the polygon given below. So, as you can see that it is a non-convex polygon but it has five sides so that's a pentagon it's not a regular pentagon but it's just a pentagon so using the formula SIA which is the sum of interior angles equal to n minus 2 times 180 degrees and substituting n to 5 so, 5 minus 2 is 3, and 3 times 180 degrees is 540 degrees. Ang sabi niya, lahat daw dito sa loob ay 540 degrees. Ang hinahanap natin ito. So, 58 plus, 100 plus 112 plus 25 plus x should be equal to 540 degrees. But, we have to subtract that. And we are down with x equals 245 degrees. Now, this part now is your 245 degrees. Next bonus is this one. Find the value of c in the polygon given below. So, this time... We are dealing with exterior angles and we have 100 degrees. Siyempre, kung may ganyan na, ibig sabihin ay 90 degrees. We also have 55 degrees and we also have 55 degrees. Now, we are finding for the value of C, the last exterior angle. So, using the formula SEA equals 360 degrees, just subtract all the given exterior angles and we are down with 60 degrees. So, your C is equivalent or equal to 60 degrees. Nagets nyo? So, kung nagets nyo, open your modules and do the activities assigned to you by your teacher. It's your turn. And thank you for watching. God bless you all. So, that ends our lesson for today. I hope you learned something. See you again on my next video. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell below for more updates and more videos.